Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show that shall not be named. Today, I am feeling a little under the weather, so forgive me if I am a little scatterbrained or not very energetic. I think it's just allergies, fingers crossed. Also, uh, sorry if my voice is a little raspy. Today's prompt is Beast, and this is the third in a series of three science fiction themed drawings. I decided to draw a, what I'm calling a nuclear powered pig. And um, here I'm just sketching it out with some pencil. I drew the pig. And now I'm drawing my fictitious nuclear reactor sticking out of him. Here I'm coming through with uh, the fine nib and just outlining everything. Lots of uh, tubes and cylinders and tanks, I guess, like sphere, cylinder, sphere. I don't know, they kind of look like a, when I imagine them, they're kind of like an elongated sphere. Not that you can see them because they're buried in <laughs> tubes and you know, little lines, gibbets, whatever we're calling them. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, getting a little tough. I'm starting to get a little worn out. But we only have four more drawings to go. And I'm just going to power through. But just know, if you're doing Inktober, or, you know, even just trying to be productive as an artist, it's sometimes it's tough. And, uh, you know, I don't want to pretend like it's not, uh, you know, like it's inconsequential for me or anything, you know. You're not alone. <laughs> but. Yeah, here I'm lining in the pig a little bit. And then I was planning on using the brush pen and then, of course, forgot what I was doing and just started hatching. But, right, yeah, I remember pretty quick. <laughs> Here's the brush pen. I ended up going a little bit darker, I think, than I intended to with this one, but that's okay. These uh, wild boars are, you know, black and brown in nature, so we can go nice and dark on him, no problem. Lots of shadows too. I may have started over if it were, you know, earlier in the series, but I don't think I have the energy to do multiple drawings <laughs> anymore. <laughs> there was a few days where I did like three or four drawings. But I'm definitely getting uh, tuckered out, a little tuckered out. Hopefully it's not uh, showing too much in the artwork. I feel like it's showing in my voice over here, though, but we'll get through it together. <laughs> it's a marathon. I am going to take a break um, after the Inktober videos are done. Not a long break. I'm thinking somewhere between two to three days up to maybe like a week um, just to recharge a little bit and 
you know, recover some of my brain cells. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, here I'm coming through, doing a little bit of hatching, and then doing, uh, filling in all the little shadow areas, the drop shadows. I was kind of imagining, like, like a super complicated Mr. Fusion sticking out of this, out of his back. <laughs> Maybe he can tra uh, travel through time. Time traveling pig. Lots of shadows. <laughs> Shadows for days. And then uh, here I'm switching back to the uh, fine nib. Coming through and doing all the, the coarse hatching. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> it's just a little bit thicker line weight, so. You know... It lets you get um, get some of the darker stuff done a little bit quicker. And then, uh, yeah, here I'm coming through with uh, some contour hatching on all the little tiny tech pieces. <laughs> Really put a lot of details into this thing for some reason. <laughs> I th you know, it looks cool. It was worth it. And yeah, here's the extra fine with the uh, noodlers black in it, so it's a little lighter. And same thing, I'm coming through with all sorts of uh, contour hatching and just going through and putting values where I think they need to go sort of thing. There seems to be an entire fleet of airplanes flying overhead and a parade of cars with their subwoofers playing right now outside, so sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today, but keep stopping and starting and hey, you know what, just leaving it in. <laughs> and then, yeah, here I was, I wasn't happy with all the values. So I grabbed the uh, brush pen again and darkened up some of the, the stuff in the background there. And then here's the fine, fine nib. just to kind of push some of those tubes backward. And then, yeah, I'm just coming through and getting all the little nitty gritty details. Here I'm doing an outline, a peripheral outline, just to make the edges pop a little bit more. And then, yeah, shading in the ground ground plane here. More nitpicky details. <laughs> and more brush pen. <laughs> I kept looking at it and you know, wanting it to be more dynamic, I guess. So I don't know if I overdid it or not. I think it's fine. I think it looks good. <laughs> Definitely a dark piece. And then, yeah, here we're just outlining the frame. 
and then coming through with some sort of sky vignette sort of texture. And it looks like that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.